All of the holiday product over on LoneFox.com is currently 30% off, so if you're still shopping for the holidays, definitely check it out. Stock up for next year. We are shipping right away. Hi, welcome back to the channel. Drew here from Lone Fox, and today we are starting another makeover, and we're in the dining room, which you can't probably tell from this framing, but through this large arch here is the coffee bar, and then in front of me are the big kind of like doors that lead up to the balcony area. I'll actually pop up this little diagram here to give you an idea of the room we are working on in the house. This is directly above the movie room. So if you can imagine, the movie room is the dining room from the low apartment and then above this is the dining room that we're actually using as a real dining room I did kind of want to talk about what this room actually has gone through already because there actually has been quite a few changes in here from when I first moved in primarily with a large arch over here because my original ideas in here was to actually open up all of the walls in this dining room I wanted to create more of an open concept flow just to make it feel a little bit different than downstairs they would have had to rip all the tile all the original tile out of downstairs to restructure the upper upper walls it was going to be a huge mess so I essentially ended up opting to create this large archway in this wall which opens it up a little bit but not fully and I actually really love the large open arch I think it frames out the coffee bar area it's kind of like a primary focal point of the kitchen now and I really like it and right in front of me right here was another set of flap doors leading into the breakfast nook which I also had made into an archway that way it kind of felt a little bit more of a pass-through again a little bit more of an open concept feel where you can easily walk through in terms of furniture all I have in this room currently is the table which is right here and this table I love it was my first ever vintage furniture piece I ever purchased or owned it's such a cool piece it weighs a thousand pounds I had to hire special movers to bring it up the stairs but it is here and it is staying in here so I definitely want to find some new chairs because at the moment I just have a set of these black chairs and these are from article they're really great and with the scale of the table and the scale of this dining room I think we could do some larger chairs we also have quite a bit of wall space in here so we have this entire wall behind me which we could do something with and we also have an entire wall in front of me that we can do something with which usually I feel like I'm struggling to find walls to put stuff on but I don't know what I'm putting on these walls so we shall see so here we are in the dining room this is the full room now it is actually a pretty large room as you can see like from the table to the wall we have like an arm span and then over here even there's like a good amount of space in here and there's even probably like six feet up to the door in front all that i currently have in here is the table from the previous apartment and then this is the matching bookcase which i ended up purchasing from the same seller my friend Brittany from badlands i don't think the bookcase is going to live in here because it's just too small for this wall and it's too small for this wall it needs like its own small wall to shine on i need to discuss colors textures, um, curtain panels, and all the little bits and elements that are gonna make this room come to life. So let's do that. I grabbed this candle here because it has marble, which is very similar to what's in the coffee bar. So I definitely want to kind of place this just so I can see everything else in alignment. Now our floors here are very similar to this wood sample that I have. This is a cabinet um, like wood swatch. And this is kind of what the floors look like. So we already have this dark brown and marble going on. I also definitely want to incorporate some silver and some brass throughout as well. So I added this. This isn't as silvery as I'd like to go, but I thought the metal colors were super pretty there. So in the living room and breakfast nook, the panel is very similar to this lighter color, but I just don't think that will work here. So I actually wanted to take it a bit darker these are the two darker options that we have and i th i'm thinking though with this it kind of makes the curtain look very yellow and the wall look kind of minty whereas this one i feel like it's a little bit more of a neutral it still has that touch of gold in it um and i think that it's going to make the wall color look really beautiful as well so that's kind of the direction so far step one in this dining room is going to be removing baseboards taping off the windows and priming the wall so we can get our lime wash up now marie just headed to the store to pick up the lime wash so we are going to work on removing baseboards getting it all prepped for painting look at this room color before red
before priming because these beams are original and they are really stunning. I don't want to get any of the primer to bleed under the tape. So I'm using some brown paint here, very similar to the beam. And I'm just sealing the edge of the tape. That way when we go in with our primer and we peel it off, the only bleed is going to be from the brown, which matches the beam. Whenever you have like a high contrast paint and you want like a really clean line, just to paint that contrast color on first and then your other color over the top. and I really want to get up one coat of lime wash today and so that's what I'm going to start doing. I've done lime wash on the channel before but it actually hasn't been quite a while so if you've never done it before you actually use a large brush like this. I believe this is like a stain brush right? There's a special name but I don't remember. I'm pretty sure these are like more stain brush but this is like how big it is and you just hand apply it on in a crosshatch pattern and hope for the best when it dries. I haven't had the best luck with lime wash, so I don't know why I selected it for this room. So I mentioned that I haven't had the best of luck with lime wash in the past, and that's just because when you go for light colors, sometimes it is more challenging to get that movement to show up. And when you spend so much time painting your wall by hand, cross-hatching it just like this, adding all the color on, you see it dark, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is gonna turn out so great, and then it dries down the following day, and it's just completely like matte and solid, it really is like the most unsettling feeling, I swear. So with this one, I ended up going a bit darker than I actually expected. That Bistro color was the one that I opted for. Did the cross hatch pattern all the way around. The first coat definitely goes on way quicker than the second one, just so you know. The first one's pretty speedy. Good morning, everybody, and look at that wall color. It is looking really, really good. I'm not gonna lie, last night I was a little scared putting it on. It goes on so much darker, especially with nighttime lighting, and I came out at midnight and checked, and it still kind of seemed a little dark, but today, waking up and seeing it in natural light, it feels so pretty in here. Put myself behind the camera just so you can see. Now, this middle section is the only area that we didn't paint because I actually ended up having some electricians come this morning and move the box or the placement of the light because as you could see, it used to be kind of centered between the beams. But since the wall's angled here, it's really not like a full-on squared room. So the table actually has to be pushed a bit more in this direction 
Hence, we moved the box over. Now, something else I also decided to add was sconces right here and right here because there actually used to be a junction box right here that kind of had all, you can actually see them all back here, all the different cords that kind of connect up the lights throughout the kitchen and the dining room. So there was already one here. They ended up just adding a cover over the top where we can do a sconce and add electrical as well. And then they added one to the opposite side and connected it up to the electrical that was right here. They were only here for two hours adding the sconces, which is really exciting. I've never got to add kind of custom sconces or custom lighting to my home before. We have the painting attire on and we are going to do the second coat on all the walls and then the first coat and second one on the center. So when that lime wash actually dries down, it kind of turns into a chalky finish on the surface. And when you apply your second coat, the first coat really sucks it up. So you definitely are using quite a bit more product on your second coat. And it also requires a little bit more hand strength. Just wanted to let you all know. The second coat just a little bit more labor intensive than the first one, because the first one kind of glides onto the primer. And then the second one, you really are working that product into the first coat to get that kind of burnished finish. Okay, I think that this color is just perfection. Like it's starting to dry the second coat here and it just looks so great. It really kind of feels like some of the more warmer veining throughout the marble here. As you can see, like this warm color and then I'll zoom in like this right here. So pretty together and I love it. So we're finishing up this wall here. Then gonna do a lunch break. There's Justin. I just woke up and as you can see, the paint color is far more yellow than the wall. It's really hard to share because the sun's coming through here at the moment. Can you see that? It's just super yellow. So I ended up actually going and grabbing a paint match this morning and I've painted one coat just on this edge here and like around this kind of corner here and it looks pretty good as you can see. So I'm gonna go through and paint the windows with that. They're just very like buttery yellow and the walls definitely have like a golden color. I've also started one coat up on the ceiling, um, but as you can see the walls definitely have kind of a golden color to them but the windows are just so yellow I don't know why the painting is all finished in the dining room and it looks incredible. The gardeners are here, but I'm about to pull off the tape from these beams to see how it looks. I just, I love the wall color. It is so good. And I'm gonna share with you in just a minute. We need to clean everything up in here because it's pretty dirty at the moment. As I'm taking the tape down, I am freaking out over how good this wall looks. Look at the ceiling. Oh, look how incredible. It's the most perfect color. It couldn't be better. It's perfect. Even leading into the breakfast nook, it is so pretty. I'm so happy with how it's turning out. It is now a golden hour on Saturday. So sadly, I don't have Justin here to help me move this bookcase or I put it on this wall, which I don't actually know if it's gonna be going in this room because I kind of think I wanna do some other lower shelving over here. I've been looking at a specific piece online for a bit, but I love the color so much. It is just perfect in here. This is like the absolute warmest it gets. Um, during the daytime, it kind of feels really like oatmeal-y and really soft and just neutral. You have to also do a couple of touch-ups on the beams. And then I'm going to be painting these two lights right here, the little art lights that were already installed. Um, I'm gonna paint them with the paint match that I got for the windows. But guess what? We have 
a delivery. The other day I went to Olive Atelier. I haven't been there in a while and I'm pretty sure if you've been on the channel for a bit, I actually did a drop with them a while back. And the way that I was kind of paid per se to promote the drop and you know, for my time being there and such was through a credit. So I've had a credit there and I've just been waiting for like the perfect piece of furniture or like that perfect item to pop up. And I found a set of chairs there that I'm so excited. So I used my credit on it, essentially girl math. So it was free, you know, it was free. I already, I work for it already. So like essentially they were free chairs. Okay, not actually, but anyways, I have the chairs there in the hallway. Let me bring one out and share it to you. So here is the dining chair. Why don't I just set it right here so you guys can see it in all of its glory. This is a Danish dining chair, a set of six Danish dining chairs, and it is such a cool chair. First of all, it's really chunky and substantial. I believe it's an oak wood, but the thing I love is it really feels like it could have paired with the table nicely. Also, they are beyond comfortable. Like, I can sit here forever. Like, this is just such a great little spot now, a perfect like dining area, and there's six of these. I do definitely have to get a rug in here to break up all of the dark wood. However, I love how grounding it is in the space, and I like how we have the beams up here to kind of also channel that dark wood, and I'm gonna be adding a bunch of other elements in here that are going to make it feel a lot more lively. Here's our third. Three chairs just fit so perfectly on either side. There's still like a great amount of room to move in and out. Um, they're just like the perfect chair for this table. I really thought they were a great way to spend my credit. I brought up candelabra just to get those dining vibes going in here. But in the next video, we are going to be tying this entire space together. I think this is only going to be a two-parter. I already have the curtains on order, some of the other elements. I've already shared those fabric swatches with you guys. Sometimes there's more of that olive tone popping through or that kind of golden tone popping through at different times of day. So it's a really fun color to see and I can't wait to get light in here and just everything. I'm so excited. And I hope you all enjoyed this one. I did want to mention quickly before letting you go that Lone Fox, my shop, uh, we are having 30% off all holiday and we're shipping it out as quickly as possible within 24 to 48 hours. So my mom, my aunt, and my dad, because this is a family run little business and we have 30% off holiday. So definitely get anything you might want to stock up on for this year. And it can definitely arrive before the holidays or if you want to grab some stuff for next year. But yeah, just to let you all know about that and i will catch you in my next one where we tie up the dining room <laughs> bye guys